Hello and welcome back for a new tutorial for the Unreal Engine 5. As I promised in the last video, this time I will show you two places where you can get some assets for free. There are plenty more places where you can get assets for free, but uh, I choose those two specific because the assets you can get there are specifically made for the Unreal Engine. So you don't have to have any further knowledge in 3D assets for Unreal Engines. If you have your own 3D models you want to put in Unreal, uh, wait for the next video. I will show you how to import assets for Unreal. Uh, you made yourself in Blender, in Maya, Max, or whatever you program you use. But um, for this time, I show you those two places. The first one is the Epic Games on Marketplace, and the second one is the Quixel Bridge. And uh, we start with the Epic Games on Marketplace. You can get more than just assets there, you can get plugins there, completely projects you can use and test and um, look how things are done. So and let's get started, go to the marketplace. And here we are, here's the marketplace. Just go marketplace and you are here. And here are many, 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 many things you can download. Some for paid, some for fee. So. Here in the row you can choose a topic you're interested in. Maybe just go for Unreal Engine 5, we are using 5. If you're interested in one asset you like, just click on it. You get a few more details. Really important, look at the supported engine. Is the engine you use in here? Then you can buy or get it for free, it depends on the yeah, product itself. And here are some new details for the assets and some examples. Maybe you're interested in those. Maybe this funny fish. Yeah. So there are many, many things. You can get whole projects here. You can get plugins. You can get yeah, models, many things. And when you have a modeler yourself, you also can use the marketplace and put your own models there for sale. Just uh, when you decide one you like, Maybe we look something for free, just to show. Yeah, maybe we go with some furniture. Add to cart. It's on here. You can choose small things. Go to shopping cart, check out. And now it's in your library. We go to the library and down here are all the purchases you have made in the marketplace. And to add something to your projects, go to add to the project. Come on, go up and you can choose your project. Um, test ground, yes. Add it there. And now it's load. And put the Kraken and this, this Kraken in our engine. Go here. Open the content browser. And there it is, the Kraken. Animation, some, a whole map. Where's the mesh? There's the mesh. Just put the mesh in the scene. Depending on the mesh, it could take some time to get it the first time in your engine. Oh, it's a big boy. Um, just put him there. Maybe we make him a little smaller. So, make it small. Put it there. It takes a little of time to get everything in the engine itself. Depends on the asset you use. And the second place I want to show is the Quixel Mega Scans. It's really easy to go to in the Unreal Engine 5. Just go, add to project, Quixel Bridge, open it. Uh, in the Unreal Engine 5 it's linked. If you use Unreal Engine 4, uh, you have to get the plugin. We don't, we have the Unreal Engine 5, it's linked with our Unreal Engine 5. When you open it the first time, you have to sign in. I should be signed in, I use it sometimes. It's really, really helpful to get many things. You can get plans, you can get materials, many things. They put a few things in collections, if you're interested in some particular scene. You can um, go there, maybe we go to a warehouse, get some props. Let's get something from here to show you, uh, maybe... 
maybe we go with a plastic drum. Why not? So we get a, a closer look for our asset, some stats, we get the size of it. A, yeah, we get the rough size of it, we get it's closed so there's no hole in it. There are a few assets with holes, mainly stuff for outside tree trunks, rocks, they have a um, hole in the bottom. Does not. Some related asset, maybe we find something more attracted from this and the uh, related content. So we can choose a quality, low, medium, high quality. It kind of depends on the projects you make. I prefer Nanite. I mean, Unreal Engine advertised with this new Nanite technology and I just go with it. Then download. After it's downloaded, we can add it to the project and it should be in our project. Check it. New folder, mega scans, 3D asset, plastic drum. There's the material, there's the mesh. Put it in there. Wait a little. I mean, importing something for the first time takes some time depending on the mesh. Okay, and there it is. Our nice plastic drum. So we have our marketplace asset in the scene and our Quixel asset in the scene. And so we can get a few assets and start to build a scene or a complete level for a game. Yeah. Those and two sides are really nice thing. You can use the assets you get from the marketplace and from the Quixel Mega Bridge and make a game. You can publish a game and get money from the game. I mean, these assets are made for that. Yeah. But there's one thing I find rather difficult. I saw it on the marketplace specifically for vehicles. There are some vehicles where is a brand attached to it. Some cars from a brand like Mercedes or something. Um, technically, you are allowed to use the assets from the marketplace, but you could get in trouble from the band because you use their brand in your game. So uh, keep in mind, if you use something with a brand attached to it, maybe don't do that uh, to don't get in trouble with those kind of stuff. So yeah, <laughs> keep in mind what you do. Don't use brands in your game. If you make something published, don't have a brand attached to it when you don't have a deal with those brands. Okay, that was one thing I um, saw the latest time, especially as I said, vehicles, there are many, many cars with a brand attached to them. Yeah, so keep safe and don't use those. But um, for all the other assets, you are allowed to use them. You are allowed to publish the game with them. Just put some credits where you get those assets in the credits. I mean, they are there for a reason. So um, yeah, this was all for this video. And the next tutorial, I will show you how you add your own assets in the game engine and what to keep in mind if you make an asset for a game engine. I mean, there's a little bit of difference between an asset for a game engine and an asset for an offline rendering, like um, yeah, rendering an animation or a screenshot in Blender, Maya or something. I mean. But that's more for the next video and yeah, I hope I could help you a little bit and have fun creating things. Goodbye.